Well, I was going to give you guys the start up of the truck and move it, but it's dead. So this is where we got to do it. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. And like I said, going to give you an update on the old Clapper fucking Dodge Cummins I got here. The old 12 valve. And if you guys remember, if you've been watching, I was originally going to make this truck a burnout truck for Cletus and cars, but plans have changed a little bit. By a little bit, I mean it's, it's changed a lot. We're not going to be doing anything like that. So, yeah, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. All right, so we're going to start with what the power plant's going to be. So, you know, first gen, it's got the old 12 valve V pump. But this is all getting torn out, trans, everything. Truck's going to be completely different. Getting a common rail with a... 40 i think i'm doing a 47 re i'm not sure yet i gotta look into all that stuff a little more I'm gonna get a probably a 366 turbo hope to make about 700 horsepower with this truck i don't need crazy amounts of horsepower because it's not going to be a race truck even though it sounds like it's going to be it's not so yeah we're gonna have a built transmission don't know by who yet maybe firepunk i don't know firepunk's right down the road then other than that, all this is going to be, the entire engine bay is going to be completely redone. We're going to be doing new brakes on it and everything else. Yeah. Stop! <laughs> all right, so next we're going to go over the suspension truck is going to, it's going to get a whole four wheel drive swap. What I'm going to end up doing is buying a common rail or a third gen, probably a wreck truck. Just a donor truck, so I can take all the motor, the trans, maybe the rear end, transfer case, all that stuff. That's all going to get pulled and swapped out for that. And then there's a a conversion kit. I don't know if it's conversion, but it's put a third gen rear, or put a third gen front end on a first gen. And it's from far from stock, but it's pretty pricey. So I don't know if I'm going to do with that yet. It's, like I said, it's going to be lifted. But I'm going to leave those details later because I want to do something special with the lift. And everything is going to be powder coated. The frame is going to be powder coated. I, I'll i just go ahead and tell you the color scheme. I'm going to do basically a Cherry Illusion Red. I think that's the name of the color. And then something really close on the body. I want to do something really similar to this, which is the original color. But it might be a little darker and way more metallic. And it's going to be the whole truck instead of a two-tone thing. So, yeah. There's that. Yeah, that's another thing. I plan on building this entire truck by myself. Obviously, buddies and stuff, but I don't plan on ever taking it to a shop to do it. I want to do the transmission, do the motor swap, do the suspension, do everything by myself. I want to buy a powder coat gun and an old oven or something so I can powder coat small stuff. Obviously, the frame's going to have to go get powder coated, stuff like that. But... Yeah, that's going to be where this truck is going to be. I don't want to give a timeline. But it's going to be a long build. It's going to take a while to get the funds. It's going to be very expensive. So, Trump, give me that small loan. A million dollars, please. This thing will be done fast. It'll be fast. Yeah, that's all you get on the Dodge. 